This presentation is about the role of hypoxia inducible factor alpha in an anticyclic citronated peptide in rheumatoid arthritis Egyptian patients by Nuran Khalil, teaching assistant at the Department of Biochemistry, Faculty of Pharmacy, Badr University in Cairo. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic autoimmune disease which is initially manifested locally but it later develops into a systemic disease that involves the major organ systems and it is a common cause of permanent disability which leads to chronic inflammation of the synovial tissues and cartilage and bone destruction. Hypoxia is necessary for the development of rheumatoid arthritis and in induces the transcription factors, the hypoxia inducible factors, which trigger upregulation of proangiogenic factors and mediators of glycolysis. The hypoxia inducible factor pathway allows cells to survive during hypoxia condition and it plays a major role in rheumatoid arthritis disease progression. Anticyclic citronated peptides are autoantibodies against citronated peptide and proteins, where during inflammation, the arginine residues present in some proteins are converted into citrulline residue. This process is called citrullination. The synovium in rheumatoid arthritis contains many citrullinated proteins. Antibodies to all of these have high specificity for rheumatoid arthritis. The objective of this study was to estimate the amounts of hypoxia induced by factor alpha and anticyclic citrullinated peptide in the serum of rheumatoid arthritis patients with variable disease activity and to study the relation between hypoxia inducible factor alpha and anticyclic citrullinated peptide. A total of 90 participants were enrolled into the study and they were divided according to their disease activity into four groups. The first group, and it was of 20 healthy participants, the control group, the second group, and it was of 20 rheumatoid arthritis patients with low disease activity. The third group, and it was of 20 rheumatoid arthritis patients with moderate disease activity. And the last group, and it was of 30 rheumatoid arthritis patients with high disease activity. For each subject, patient history was recorded and routine analysis was performed. Rheumatoid arthritis in diseases including disease activity score index, clinical disease activity index, and health assessment questionnaire disability index were calculated. Serum was collected and analyzed for hypoxia inducible factor alpha and anticyclic citrullinated peptide by sandwich ELISA technique. For the anticyclic citrullinated peptide, significant increase in its levels in patients with moderate and high disease activity compared to the control group and significant increase in its level in patients with high disease activity compared to those with low activity was recorded. For the hypoxia inducible factor alpha, significant increase in patients with low, moderate, and high disease activity compared to the control group was recorded, while no significant differ difference between patients with different grades of disease activity. The rock curve for anticyclic citronated peptide serum levels shows that the best chosen cutoff level was 19, at which the sensitivity was 90% and the specificity was 75%. The area under curve was 0.92. While the rock curve for hypoxia inducible factor alpha serum levels shows that the best chosen cutoff level was 56.2, at which the sensitivity was 100% and the specificity was 95%. The area under curve was 0.99. From this study, we concluded that the anticyclic citronated peptide serum concentration is directly related to the disease activity of rheumatoid arthritis and it could be used as an indicative biomarker of the status of the disease. The hypoxia inducible factor alpha also has a potential clinical value as a rheumatoid arthritis disease biomarker. Its serum uh, levels showed high sensitivity and specificity in diagnosis of the rheumatoid arthritis disease. 
थैंक यू